What the hell? Who are you? What are you doing here? Dominic Sintas. You can call me Nick. Charles. Charles Shope. Can I call you Chuck? No. Uh, I had a friend named Chuck once. Can you give me a lift? No, I'm out of gas. What do you want with me? Hey, relax. I'm not going to pull a gun on you. I just want to ride. You are waiting for a ride, aren't you? Yeah, I'm waiting for a ride. Well, great. We can wait for one together. Nah, I don't think so. So where are you headed? Hospital. Is somebody sick? Yeah. Dying? No. Nobody's dying. Cancer? No. I want to see my wife. Oh, yeah? What's wrong with her? Don't tell me she's pregnant. Look, it's none of your business. Why don't you just take a walk, huh? Well, what's wrong with her? Why won't she tell me what's the matter with her? Jesus Christ, she's got food poisoning, okay? Are you satisfied? Good. Goodbye. Hey, what are you doing? You're trying to talk to me, dude. Hey, come on, Chuck. I'm just trying to talk to you. Hey, come on. You said you were out of gas. Out of gas, huh? You get out of that car right now, you're gonna be in serious trouble. Bye bye. Give me the keys. Oh shit, you know what? I, I left them in the oh, uh right. Oh, that's just great. Wow, dude, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, great. You lied to me, Chuck. Damn it! You said you were out of gas. You got half a tank in there, and you got a gas can in the front seat. Why don't you just take a walk and leave me alone, huh? So how long have you been married? 23 years. You don't sound too enthused about that. Why don't you just take a walk, huh? There's a speedy Q-Mart about eight miles that way. No, no, I just end up buying one of those green hot dogs and getting one of those three-gallon cups of soda. Make me sick. What's with the watch? What? The watch. You keep looking at your watch. You in a hurry or something? No. You gotta be somewhere at a certain time. No! All right, I'm sorry I asked. Jeez, you try to ask a guy a question, he bites your head off. Well? Well, what? Why didn't you flag it down? It's not 12 yet. 
What do you mean it's not 12 yet? You said you were waiting you here for a ride. You think I was going to hitch a ride what, with... What, you've been waiting here the whole afternoon and you don't wave the guy down? What's the matter with you, Chuck? Did you see that guy? Do you think I was going to ride with him? I mean, Why, you, you can't walk into a car like that. You never know what you're going to run into. I'm not... You're a wacky guy, you know that? You're a wacky guy with a beard in the station. I don't even know. Shut up. Food poisoning, huh? Right, food poisoning. So who cares what time it is? I don't know why I said that. Let's just forget about it, huh? Why'd you pick this spot here, Chuck, huh? I mean, why'd you park here? I said let's forget about it. Uh, why didn't you go into a bar or something? I mean, the pro bowling tour rolls into Tacoma today. He could have had a nice time. Could you not blow smoke over here, please? A lot of things bother you, huh, Chuck? It doesn't bother me. My wife made me quit two years ago. I told her I'd never touch him again. No. You want one, have one. No. Why are you denying yourself a cigarette? You could get hit by a bus tomorrow. You're worried about cancer you can get in 20 years, maybe 10? Well, don't be such a worm. Smoke it. Hey. Now, where's my wallet? It was on the dashboard, wasn't it? Jeez. Oh, Jeez, Chuck, I don't know. It wasn't it? I don't know what happened to your wallet. Hey, give me that. Hey, I got a lot of important things in there. Oh, you got a lot of important things in here? Like, yeah. What's this? Uh, what? Get a license Look, here. We got that. a blood bank donor card. Hey, what's what this? What the hell do you think it's card, doing here? Bank card. Hey, what do you do for a living anyway, Chuck? Never mind. It probably just put me to sleep. None of your business. You know, that's all junk, all of it. You don't need any of that stuff, especially not today. Hey, you know what? I don't see a picture of your wife anywhere in here, Chuck. Give me that. Okay. Here's your security back. See, I don't need that stuff, any of it. It just caused problems. Problems? What do you know about problems? I know enough not to try to kill anybody over them. I didn't try to kill anybody. Man, you are unhinged, you know that? Oh. You know what? You remind me of one of my students. About seven years ago, I had the student You're who a came teacher? to me. Yeah. <laughs> what do you teach? Harmonica. So anyway, I had a student called Jeff. I called him Jeffy. And uh, he comes to me every week. He hasn't practiced. But his mom forces him every week to take harmonica lessons. I said, you know, I don't like it, but what can I do? I mean, you got to pay the bills. So this goes on and on, and, and finally one day I take him aside and say, look, Jeffy, the only way you're going to get out of this is either uh, practice like hell, so you don't need any more harmonica lessons, or break all your fingers so you can't play the harmonica, so you, you can't even pick your nose, much less play the harmonica. Some teacher. Thanks. So uh, a week later, he doesn't show up. Two weeks, no Jeffy. Third week comes, I, I don't know what's happening, so I give him a call. I said, Jeffy, what's going on? You know what he says to me? You know what he says? What? He says, Teach, I haven't picked my nose in three weeks. Well, don't you get it? Yeah, the kid broke his own finger, so what? Jesus, Chuck, you weren't listening. 